you mentioned, as long as the wind wall doesn't catch it and stop it from getting its maximum usage, it is going to deal insane amounts of AoE damage. I know, J Team, there's a lot of bruisers, just as you mentioned, most of these picks are gonna be banking on trying to build what? Health, basically. And what does Brand have? A lot of dot 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 DOTs, baby, and as well as the item path. The item build just works so well against these champions, uh, against J Team. So I am so excited for this pick, Rafa. Such such a exciting <laughs> look from the third seed of the WCK. They are on the back foot. They are the one, one game away from being knocked down into the second place decider matchup where they would have to face the winner of either Rix or Bebo Keed on the next day. But for J-Team, they are the ones poised. Match point in their reach. It is game two between these two. Oh, there's so many things to be happy about about this draft, Rafa. I mean, the fact that we finally get to see a Wukong Gragas in the same team, and then suddenly they pivot something without a Wombo combo. And finally, the Yasuo. This is so classic from Year Zero, from League of Legends. A lot of enablers of that big knockup for the ult coming from Pan. So I'm so excited to see that push through. And the fact that there's also a secondary carry on the board, which is Cherry here on the Jax, that means J-Team doesn't have to funnel all their, Dawn. you know, all their... Dawn using the clone oh. to dodge out. However, the turn... Oh, God! <gasps> Dawn in the 1v2! Dawn says you can take away the Camille, but you can't stop me from having a top of my game. Dawn is insane. What a play. JY John wanted to set that up, but unfortunately, you, you saw how JY wanted to get the turret aggro. Damage was still not enough. Dawn played that so well. Had barrier, had flash. There's another fight. J Team now threatening the dive onto the bottom lane tower. 248 HP, but it is salvaged by JY who comes in, forcing the flash out of DY. Taking on the Whoa. Sonic Wave, but beautiful body slam from DY. Stops the damage from coming Cherry. through. Now Cherry comes in with the punish, and T1, all their early advancements are being neutralized by J Team. That J Team is such a scary team, my word. That the fact that they're able to get has to wait for him, right? This team bomb! There it is! Jay White with the kickback! Penguin with the knock of the falls up on the pan! And that is T1 striking back when it is necessary! Yeah, let's go! That was so sneaky! Pan didn't see that coming. Is this the retaliation? Dawn flashing forward, gets the two-man knockup with the Cyclone, falling up for additional knockup. The explosive cast kicks right back on Whoa. to JY, but he flashes out. He manages to escape with his life. Yeah, that is a flashless JY. So that play later on, 13 seconds on the clock for the next, for the first pawn, spawn in the game. And we'll see. J Team is so primed to fight right now. They're going to shadow T1. Which objective are you going to take? We're going to take that. We're going to follow you. We're going to fight you. We're going to force you into a situation. Carol, they know they've already not... lost meaning for it with the first brick going the way of J Team. But that's not going to stop J Team from looking to contest for the fight. Already Cherry and Don jumping right up. But it's the answer back yeah. from Penguin. Two man knockup. But do they have the damage right on back? BBGG oh. has already expended the Pyroclasm. And wow. answers back in the two kills against DY and Cherry. JY Woo. going back in. But you cannot stop the Wukong from knocking you back into the stratosphere. Zhong sailing on with the hook shot. Flash. Pan flashing Pan. forward, looking for a steel tempest. Doesn't oh. have the steel, the last breath. Core is able to kite him on back. Dawn is looking for more. The flash from Zhong takes out the Monkey King, and Barry has to retreat. That is what we were waiting for, right? T1 was waiting for an objective so that they can fight 5v5. What did we talk about, Rafa, during the so well everyone in favor, right? Where J Team wants to initiate. They want to set the Wombo combo. They want to wait. Another kick, another pick onto DY. T1 overwhelming mid lane and taking out the support for J Team. Pan is left to defend the tower, but now that opens up an avenue on the bottom side of the map. BDG still has Pyroclasm. JY dashing in. Huge wow. knock up onto two, but JY gets obliterated before he can finish off Pan. He's burning to a crisp, but not enough to go down officially. John. But John comes in from the bottom side of the map, trades one back. Crazy, the positioning of both of these top laners, Jong and Don, basically trying to come from different angles to find a straggler, find a strangler from both of these teams. At the end of the day, it's an even trade off of that skirmish, but it just still shows how scary, once BDG has Pyroclasm, JD has to steer away. 
J-Team jumps on you, you can fight back. JY looking for a flank there on the left side, but it's the package from Core that separates the members of J-Team. Dawn looking Whoa. for the follow-up on the Cyclone. Last Breath has already been expended. Dawn forcing Penguin off to the backside. JY, JY looking for the flank, picks off Cherry, but can he clean up the stragglers here? J-Team still have strong members in Pan, who's blinking on HP, but he manages to stay alive. J-Team able to squeak out the advantage. Everyone is playing out of their minds right now. The fact that Pan almost died did a tornado to make sure to stop Zhang from landing that last hit. But I felt like J-Team pulled the trigger because they know that JY wasn't there. In the meantime, this could be another kill. Oh, DY with Body Slam Flash trying to lock down JY. He's dancing, dipping in and out. Stasis dodging out on the root here, Penguin. but he's got nowhere to run but he, because he is cornered yep. by a giant dude with a barrel. And of course, Senna is there to help. Ensure that Not Team 1 are quite some behind. time here. JT BDG? just looking to control. BDG getting a huge burst of damage onto Dawn, but he answers back with the Cyclone. Last Breath is there. What? Explosive cast scatters the members of Team 1. They're all sent asunder. Core and JY what? looking for the flank onto Barry, and he's been routed off. They might be able to trade one back for one, but the root and Barry with the sustain keeps himself alive. Oh JY gosh. tries to sail on through, oh. but he cannot take him out. Barry might burn down, but it's not even close. Barry stays alive. No one goes down from J-Team. And this is Cherry busy taking out the Rift Herald. J-Team wasn't even complete at all in that fight. And it was BDG in that brush, waiting for the rest of J-Team to be clumped together to maximize that Pyroclasm. But guess what? J-Team, so ready for that. They were able to knock him up get that last breath set, and then win that fight. Take note again, I repeat, Cherry wasn't there. And now J-Team are all strong as five members here in the Dragon Pit. T1 Ooh. package is being used again. by Core to separate the members of the fight, but Penguin and Core are the only ones in this Whoa. two on three. JY comes in as the Ooh. second win. Dawn once again stifling JY with the knockup. He doesn't even oh. get a chance to contest for the steal on the Dragon. Ooh. Cherry manages to go down thanks to Jong. Now Jong, the question is, can he get out of live? I don't think so. The Root locks nope. him down for J-Team to take him out. And once again, Riku, we have a prime gaming ace. ace. Insane there coming from J-Team. Every single there is time DY as well at the mid, in the mid lane being able to eliminate Penguin and there's another fight. Three man knocking from Penguin, but the damage is not gonna follow up because they're too busy retreating. J-Team are too terrifying to deal with. T1 are running for the hills and J-Team is sending them there graciously even faster to a trip to the fountain. The Rift Herald has been spawned, Riku and Jong trying to recall in time, but I think this is going